Hi, I'm George, and we're going to make this George Not Found skin over in the skin decks. Now, it's easy to tell it's apart. Of course, our skins are different, but also George Not Found is rich and famous, and I'm not. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's head over to skin decks and get to work on the skin. Okay, here we are in the skin decks right there, and I'm in the editor, which is right there. I'll put a link for this in the description and also right there on the screen. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit, get the editor filling our screen. There we are. And there's the basic George Not Found skin. Now, if you go outside here, somebody you can grab that and move the skin around. You can look at all the different sides and so forth. That's fine. You can adjust your colors over here. You look at the body or the overlay. Notice that this has just those sunglasses on the outer layer. If I hide the outer layer, there's the part underneath. And you can hide or show different parts of your body right down here just like that. We'll be doing some of this. And then down here, when you've made your skin, you can upload that to Skindex. If you sign up for Skindex as a member, it's free. Go ahead and do that. You can download your skin and you can then upload also from your computer. If you have a skin on your computer you want to edit, it's right there. Left hand side, all your tools right down here. At the bottom, you can then reset your skin. I'm first going to zoom in just a little bit here. Let's make the skin as big as we can. Right there, there we go. You can see the whole skin right there. And I'm going to click on reset, very bottom. And this will just set this back to a clear skin. Always the best way to start off, unless you have a skin that you're just editing or working on. So I'll do OK. That one goes away. Notice how everything resets, including the window. Let's just scroll down a little bit. I'll zoom back in. Now, the first thing you have to do at this point, this is very important, is you need to know where the front of this model is. So go over here, click on the outer layer, hide that. If it's gray, it's hidden. We're now just seeing the body, and I want to have just a flesh tone on this front side so we can see where this is. We know which side is front. Now, for this, we're going to be using the actual flesh tone here for George Not Found. Go over here. And where that number is right there, we'll just type in the actual flesh tone number, and that's FBC78E. That's the one that he uses. And I'll grab the paint bucket, and we'll just fill that front side. Okay. Now, if I grab my hand over here, I can move it around, and I can tell that that's the front. There's the back, and there's the front. So very important to do that step first, just so we know exactly where everything is. Otherwise, you might get your skin on backwards, which is very embarrassing. You don't want to, have to do that. Okay, now we're going to fill in all the main colors for the different sides of the body. We'll then go back in and add in the other stuff. Now, with the skin, this is the same color for the front of the arms and also for the back of the arms. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Paint bucket's still here. I'll click on the fronts like that. Let's spin this around and click on the backs. Okay, that's it. Now there's a side color. George and I found put in a shading color on all of his sides here, which is kind of interesting. Now for a shade color, this is for the sides. Go over here again, choose your color to select that. And the color he used is DC7F3A right there. It's just a bit of a darker color like that. And then let's go here to the paint bucket and click on that side. Let's spin this around. Click on this side. This is also used on the side of the face. Here we go. Of course, the hair goes in there. And here's where we can show our high part of our body. Click on the body, hide that, and then click on the inside of this arm and the inside of that arm. There we go. Now, one more thing we need to do the bottom down here of the head, and that's in this shade. There it is. Now, I forgot to do the bottom of the hands. Easy to do, though. Go over here to the eyedropper tool, click in here. That reloads that color, and then click into the bottom of the hands. Now, let's go to the paint bucket. There it is. Bottom of the hands like that. Okay. Let's bring the body back in again. Get the arms out of the way. Click on that to hide the arms. Let's now bring in the shirt color for the body, for our main body area. And again, that's over here. And our main shirt color is 47D0D6. There it is. Double check your paint bucket. That looks good. Click in all four sides on the body like that. So that's covered. Now on this, we need to do the sides in a darker tone because of course, George Not Found is using kind of a shaded color. So for the side in here, that's going to be 5D8086. Just kind of a darker grayed down blue. So that's that side right here and that's that side right there. That's also the same color that's used for part of the top, not the whole thing. Let's hide the head and that's right up here. Let's now switch to the pencil tool, and that's right in here and right there, those two sections. Now this bit right here, this is taken from the basic face color, so I'll bring our head back in, grab the eyedropper tool, click in here to reload that color, let's hide that head again, and back to our pencil tool, and let's just paint in that little section right there. Okay, that finishes off the top of that body section, that's good. I'll put the head back on just for effect. Let's now put in our basic coloration here for the legs, I'll put the arms back on so you can see what we're doing, that looks good. 
Okay, now the basic coloration for the legs. Let's do our front color first and go back over here to our colors. And this one is 7479C1. And then back to the paint bucket right here and click on the front. There we go. Let's spin that around and click into the back. We now need to do the sides. And like everything else, this is a shaded color. So let's go back here to our colors. And the sides are 4C, 4C72. Back to our paint bucket. Click in there. There it is. Click on this side. Now we need to do the inside, so let's hide one leg. Spin this around, click in here. That leg show the other one, and click in here. We also need to see the tops of the legs, so I'm going to hide the body for a second. Here's the tops of the legs. Now the tops of the legs are in that same shadow. There we go, that's fine. Now the bottom down here, the soles of the shoes are actually in a brown color. Let's just get this out of the way real fast. Okay, this one is 6F5443. Just kind of a brown color. Make sure you're on the paint bucket and click into those, and that's good. Okay, bring our body back in. So we're getting pretty good here. We'll do the head next. And for that, we need to have the dark side, and that's the hair color in here, and also the top of the head. I'll just spin that like that, and back over here to our colors. And this one is 2C, 2C, 2A, and it's kind of a darker brown. It shows wrong up here. Ignore that. Just look down here. That's correct. And paint bucket tool, do the top and do the back. We now need to paint in the sides of the head, and that's in here. For that, we'll go up here to the pencil tool and do one layer across here, a second row, and a third row, and a fourth row. There we go. And then come down one right there, and then come back one, two, three. You need two spots in here, and that goes straight back, and that's two of those. And then right here, and leave it like that. There you get this kind of a little stair step thing in here. There we go. That's what I wanted just like that. Same thing, other side. Start off with four rows. One, two, three, four. Now be careful when you're doing this. Now if you accidentally get over here, you had to repaint that out using the face color. I'll show you that in just a second, but we'll go ahead and we'll finish this. So there it is, one down here, over two, one, two, and it's right here. That's straight back, straight back a second time, in one and right there. And I actually missed one. So I'll grab the eyedropper tool. Let's change to that color. Here's how you fix this, and just paint in here. On the face in here, eyedropper tool, grab that face color, and same thing, just paint on that one. Let's now do the front of the hair. And the front of the hair is a little different color, and also the back of the head, we'll get that done in just a second. Change our color here, 6F5443, just a little lighter brown. Make sure you're still in your pencil tool up here, and we'll start off with two rows, one, two, and then one on either side like that. That's the front hair. On the back, so I'm just going to fill this real fast. There it is. And then we need to bring in a little bit of that foreground flesh color, which is right here. So eyedropper tool, grab that, back to our pencil. And then on this one, it's just two on either side. One, two, and one, two. There we go. Okay. The hair is now finished. That looks good. Let's now put the eyes on. Nothing special about the eyes. We'll start off with a white color. You can just type this in. This is just all Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that, all Fs. And for the eyes, it's going to be one down below that. So there's one, two right here, and then in one right here. Same thing over here, one, two, and in one right there. And then we need the pupil color, which you never actually see. But we'll put it in anyway, make sure we have everything done here properly. And this is going to be three, three, two, six, one F. It's a very dark brown, and one there, and one there. Of course, that gets covered up with the sunglasses. All right, time for the shirt. We'll start off with the side face color, eyedropper, and click in here to get that side face color back to your pencil tool. And for this, I'm gonna hide the head just for a second. And if we rotate it a bit, it just makes it easier to see because we have those two lines in there. So it's right here, we come in two, one, two, and right here, and then one, two, and right there. Fill that in, and then the two below that. That's for the front of the shirt. We then need to bring in that logo area in here. You know, change our color again. For the red, that's going to be DB4D47. There it is. Now, sometimes when you change your color, it's going to jump down to the paint bucket tool. You can see it right there. So always double check, make sure you're on the pencil tool up here, unless you want that paint bucket. Then come down one row like that. It's right here. Now, this is just one from each side. So I'll just take this out. So it's one from each side like that. And then it's three tall. There we go, and then straight across here. The middle is just white, so back to our Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then fill in that section. Okay, that's good, the front of the shirt is finished. Let's now do those sleeves. 
And we'll start off with the main color here with the eyedropper tool. There's our main sleeve color. And we can then paint bucket on the top of the sleeves just like that. And then back to our pencil tool. And in here, these are four tall. So it's one, two, three, four, and straight across. And just fill that in like that. There we go. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, four, and fill that in. Now that we have that done, it's pretty easy to come in and do the sides. This, of course, is a little darker color. We've already done that color, and that's right up in here. So I can just eyedropper that. So eyedropper and grab that color. Back to our pencil tool, and we'll just do the top of the sleeve in here. And then do this side, same thing. It's just a square on this. There it is. And then back side, we're back to our light color eyedropper tool. There we go. And fill that in. And this side. Again, very easy. Now we need to do the insides of the sleeves. So we'll hide the body. And this is again on our darker color. So eyedropper tool, I'll get that darker color right here. And then let's just fill it in. I made a little mistake right there. We'll fix that in just a second. I'll just fill this in. Just like that. Let's fill this side in here. And then we'll just switch over and get that little bit down here. So eyedropper tool, grab this color, make sure on your pencil tool, and we'll just clean that up. Okay, the arms are now finished. That's good. You can bring the body back on again if you want to see that. There it is. Looking nice. And there's the head. Let's now come down to the pants down here. We did the top already. That's fine. So the legs are good, except for the shoes. We need to have our shoes in here. Now the shoes are, again, two colors. So we'll start off with the first color. That's our front color. And for that one, that's 3F, 3F, 3F. It's going to be a gray tone. This is then just two lines. Go one and two. You can go clear around if you want to on that. Just grab out here. Spin the model around. There we go. And this side, same thing like that. I'll do the back as well. We're going to be adding in one more line here in just a second. Let's get this part of it first. Now on the side, these are four wide and the back two are done like that. Same thing on this side, it's the back two. And we'll then fill that in. There we go. And then just match that on the inside. So I'll hide that one leg. There we go. So this is one, two, and then fill these in. Let's change legs, spin that around this way. Same thing, the back has two, and then fill those in. Okay. Now the sides of the feet in here, these are in a darker shade. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that dark shade now that we know where to put that. And the darker shade on this one is going to be all threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. And then just cover that up with that darker shade. There we go. And do the same thing here. Spin it around, do this side. There we go. And let's hide that leg and then do that side. And that finishes the legs off. Now if I spin down here, let's hide the legs. We haven't done the bottom of the body down here yet. And this is in the dark tone from the legs. So let's bring our leg back in here again. I'll grab the eyedropper, click right here, hide that, and then paint bucket and fill that bottom section in. Okay, that takes care of that. We'll bring our legs back on again. We'll now finish off our shirt detail. And for that, go over to the eyedropper tool and grab the front of the pants and make sure your pencil tool still. Now on the right hand side, come in just one square and click right here. And then take this straight across. And then come in one square on that and take that straight across. There we go. And then let's hide that arm and pull this around. I need to have this dark color down here. Again, eyedropper tool, grab your dark color. And then two lines right across there. Pull around for the back right here. Now on the back, it's a little bit trickier, but not too much. We're gonna be using this light color again, so eyedropper and the light pants color. Make sure on your pencil tool still. And starting on the left-hand side at the bottom, we're gonna go in four. So it's one, two, three, four. Leave a space and then finish that off there. And then just two up here. And this is back one and right like that. And then spin that around here, hide that arm. And on this one, dark color again. So here's our eyedropper tool. Grab that, back to the pencil, and do the bottom straight across. And then skip one and do just three across right there. And that finishes off that shirt detail. There we go. Okay, let's get that out of the way. So that's all done. The body's now finished. And we're all set to do the glasses. 
Now those are on a separate layer and that's on the outer layer. Click on the outer layer right here and it gives you a secondary grid and we'll paint right on this secondary grid. We'll start off with the lenses and those are in black and that's just six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Pencil tool still and they're just a square right in front of the eyes. There we go. Let's now change to the light gray for the top of the glasses. And the light gray is E4, E4, E4. And then do the bridge right here. And then above each one of the lenses, just to the side right there, spin it around, and then take that straight back just that far. Just two on that side over here. Same thing, straight back like that. Let's now do the bottom half of the sunglasses. That's white. That's all Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's right in here, and under here, under here, right there, right there, and spin it around, and that's the bottom part of the earpiece right there. And there you go, there is the George Not Found skin. We now need to get this out of here and over into Minecraft. Now the easy way is just to upload this using Minecraft.net, but you first have to download to your computer, and that's right down here, click on Download. And I have a folder I'm using on my C drive. I just named it Skins. And let's just rename this one. There we go, George Not Found, choose Save. So it's now saved to our computer. We can now go over to Minecraft.net. Let's go ahead and I'll do that one. Minecraft.net, here we go. And then log into your account. I'll do that right now off camera. Okay, here we are inside of Minecraft.net. It's in my account. There's the skin page. You can choose your slim or your classic. I'll be using the classic. If we scroll down here, there's my current skin. It's my spacesuit skin. So I'm going to select a file, and we'll just go to the same folder that we just downloaded to, which is right here. There's a George Not Found skin. Choose Open. Looks good. Click Upload. This then uploads it into the game. We can now scroll down, and there we go. That's my current skin. Okay, let's so make sure that this is working in the game. We can do that just by taking a look at the launcher. I'll bring that up. Get this out of the way first. Here's a launcher. Go up into Skins, and we should see that right there. There we go. I want to add this to my library, so I'll click on Add to Library. It's now in the library. I want to rename this, so I'll click on those three dots, and then Edit, and up here, I'll just give it a name right there. George Not Found, Save and Use, and there it is. I'm now using this in the game. I can always go back here to my regular skin, click on Use. There's my regular skin. Let's go back up here. And there's our George Not Found skin. Let's see how this looks inside of the game. I'll click on play and we'll check that out. And there you go. I now look just like George Not Found. And if you like this video, hit the like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time. But I'll be wearing my proper spacesuit again.